Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Hearts of Iron 4 Old World Blues playing as Kaiser's Legion. Alright, we have actually a pretty good amount of support equipment currently available. Let's go ahead and make sure we have some recon companies assigned. Pretty much everywhere, I think. That should be affordable for us. The um, machine gun support requires anti-personnel equipment. Which, as of right now, I don't think I have. Um, it's not abundantly obvious to me exactly what that is. I'm guessing it's something we would learn if I went to our support companies and researched... I don't know. Something like this, maybe? No, that's pipe machine guns. What counts as anti-personnel weapons? Exactly. I know we've seized some already, but I don't see an icon, so it's not... It's not obvious. Either way, I know that we don't have enough to go around, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Praetorian Guard, I will do the same thing with the recon companies there. And the Legion Sieges, uh, let's go ahead and throw in the recon company, and what would it take to get a medical company? A few more support equipments, that's fine. Let's toss that into the pile as well. So I used up a few hundred support equipment and stuff, uh, which is fine. Apparently we need a lot more infantry equipment. But it should make all of our guys a little bit more effective, which I do like. Now, the next person we probably should attack is going to end up being the uh, Hand Dogs. Which I think will end up being a little difficult. Mainly because this is an area where we actually would have to cross a river. And with so few places to actually cross... I mean, obviously, I think that just becomes very difficult. Let's make sure we throw together a few divisions here around Pueblo City. And then a few divisions around here, maybe. So we got, what is it? Nine? Four? I can't tell what that says. It's a little awkward. Maybe we just need a little bit more over there. Alright, let's try getting that position. I have no idea how hard it's going to be to take them over. But Dog City is something we need to take. Not only because there's going to be a mission for fighting the Hang Dogs over here. But also, because Taming Dog City can give us some extra stuff. Which I know that I'm going to want. So, did I say Hand Dogs earlier? Hang Dogs, whatever. Apparently there's some sort of a biker gang or something? I don't know. This whole universe is weird to me. Alright, so we're trying to expel the Riff Raff, and yeah, that hurt my stability temporarily. But by the end of it, we should come out ahead. Unless I've completely messed this up and I'm upsetting everyone in the comment section again. Which I do have a tendency to do. It's a thing. I don't know. Alright. 37 and 40. How much do you have? You have a lot more civilian factories, but in terms of military production, we're starting to catch up with the uh, New Californian Republic, in theory. Of course, they still have a lot more men. But not by an absolutely ridiculous amount. We're starting to catch up there, too. I don't know. With proper bottlenecking, I think we <coughs> excuse me, could actually theoretically stand against them be even better if I had some allies, but we'll see. Alright, do we want to propagate the scriptures and go for the production cost? Not yet. Do you want to go for Wyatt the Demon, which again gets rid of some base stability and war support, but gives 10% division speed and we can get some more spec ops? Or, we say, screw losing the stability and war support, not worth it, let's just get extra division speed in general. I'm sure that's nice, but I don't think it's a high priority either. So I think I'm going to go for the Hangdogs. Let's just go ahead and give myself the option to go to war when I want. Uh, here's my motorized divisions, though. I guess we'll send them over here for now. Motorized will end up coming in handy, and we have been building a little bit of motorized so we can replace things as they're getting lost. So that's good. Starting to gradually catch up in infantry equipment. Explosives still take forever to manufacture, and that's because we're trying to repair our factories still. I say the arms factories are most important. Repair those first, please. Shouldn't take long. Pretty easy to do. Alright, we have our troops, but our guy is not even remotely convinced that we could actually make it. Neither am I, honestly. This this would not be easy. Not easy for him to push against me either, but. Maybe we need to have our navy or something. Is that something I need? Could be. Hang on. Let's try taking you, and let's say, can I please patrol this river here? Would that make things a lot easier? 
I have to think so, and I don't think I need these boats over here at the moment, though we might eventually. So for now, let's send them up here as well. If we control the river, does that make things a lot easier? I don't know. What could also be nice is trying to find ways to go around them. Uh, go through, like, the Twin Mothers and um, the Foragers, and then try to hit them from this end, but I'm not sure that's going to work. Scorpion's Bite is kind of in the same boat as far as difficult to take. It's only got one crossing. Twin Mothers has mountain ranges in the way, so there's only this that we can actually take. I mean, again, if I could just take on somebody else, but we'd have to justify a war goal, and that's going to take a while. 210 days. Eh. Eh. Alright, that's all ahead of time, so we're not going to worry about that right now. Don't need resources right now. More reinforcement rates, maybe planes? Better boats. Robotics. Better vehicles. Lots of speed upgrades. Logistics, signals. Uh, maybe fire geckos. It's time to get started on things like that. The extra breakthrough could make a difference. Still ahead of time on all of this, so we're not going to worry about it right now. I think I'm going to go for the fire gecko pouch. If we can start working in some um, extra breakthrough, that might make a difference. I don't know. River crossings are tough, man. I kind of wish that I had a few more options, though, as far as some Cassis Belly. I mean, we could try to take on the Twin Mothers instead, but really, what would that give me? In order to get some more free war goals, we're going to have to work all the way to getting um, at least one of each of these pairs. Get the Conqueror of 86, then go for the Mexican expansion and start working on stuff. Uh, eventually, want to get to the War of, for the Hoover Dam, which is going to become very important. Now, I don't know if it's going to give me a vent that lets me start the war immediately, because it doesn't say that it gives me a cast of to use. But I know that I can't justify a war goal against the Hoover Dam. So, presumably, you have to have some sort of an event. What is this? True to Kaiser. Get rid of that. True to Kaiser. Maybe I'm not worried about anything down here right now. Away, yeah. Let's get all of our troops up here, as long as we're not going to have any attrition issues. And maybe we want to be able to do another war against the Twin Mothers at the same time. Possibly. Oh well. We're going to be able to declare war against the Hang Dogs any second now. Maybe I want them to attack me and kind of exhaust themselves. Why are we not defending over here? Aha! Well, that seems important. Okay, actually, believe it or not, holding this is going to be tricky. We're kind of spread thinner than I would like. I'm not convinced we can win that. I'm really not. All right, there's the hang dogs. Um, start working toward production, meritocracy, initiative, which grants it doesn't really say. Production efficiency, growth, a new general. A lot of things we need down there too. Don't need the well. Wait, the arms workshops. This is something I wanted. Let's start working toward those workshops. Um, that's a lot of extra production. It's better than anything I could get by don't, going down the uh, economic focus. I think. True to Kaiser. I think I need to oh, consolidate yeah. my troops in a different way here. So I'm going to have all of them oh, yeah. apply themselves down over here. Barely see that crossing. It's a little bit awkward, isn't it? You guys apply yourself down here. No, nope, wait. Mess that up. Here we go. Can you not? Frickin' heck. Can I please? I don't need I don't care about the fleet. Come here. There we go. Alright. Then I'm gonna let you guys take the front lines over here. Have all of you guys get assigned here. See, why is it selecting this whole thing? It still says no divisions there. You can just barely tell. That's all. 
do that. And then your goal will be to try and break through in some way. I don't know. Maybe? Maybe I can make this work somehow. Just seems a little difficult. How are we doing in terms of uh, expelling the riffraff? Pretty good. Hey, we can begin a scavenging program. That sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. Currently 50% scavenging uh, potential. So we just get extra machetes and pipe guns, I guess. So it doesn't really cost much to gain a pretty reasonable amount. So the riffraff are gone. Stability seems to be okay. Don't care about any of those intros. Do we need extra war support at the cost of stability? Not really. Not right now. For 100 days, it uses up our factories to get extra stability. I think I'd rather save my um, political power to start getting some better advisors. Resistors. Good. Don't need to worry about that right now. Let's go for some decryption and encryption tech. On the off chance that that gives me an advantage I can use. As far as I can tell, you do have a good number of troops. 24 specifically. 24 absolutely should be able to handle 35, as long as I'm the one being offensive. I need him to exhaust himself against me. That's the problem. How best to do that to him? What would be even better is if I could get my air support going. All right, let's test something real quick. So right now we have 40 arms workshops. Is that going to jump up to 50? And 54. Even better than I thought. Wow, all right, yeah. Free production's great. Let's see. Let me go ahead and start working down this route to get the initiative and stuff. See what happens with that. You... What's going to give me the most breakthrough? 15? No. No. I don't even know how I produce these. But yeah, laser rifles are a thing. Laser battery support. Where's artillery? You know? That's what I need. Hmm. Mongrels are pretty easy to make. But I don't really need the suppression bonus, and that seems to be primarily what they're good for. Muskets could be good. I mean, it's got really good heart attack and stuff. Not that heart attack is that useful either, actually. None of that's absolutely necessary. Uh, alternatively, we could start continuing down our doctrines. And maybe it's time to continue making progress there, so let's do that. It's going to take a while, but it's fine. So we're looking pretty good on uh, equipment for everything except for explosives, which we'll be able to produce a lot more of those going per day now. What else can we make? Fire gecko pouches. Let's go ahead and start making a few of those. I have a little bit more support equipment than I need, so we're going to cut back on that a little bit. Looking really solid in terms of our infantry equipment, but obviously I need as much of that going as possible, making a good number of gecko pouches per day. What would it take to uh, add those in? Flamer support. Defense, breakthrough, soft attack. Needs 25 flamer equipment. If we did this, we would need 905. So I don't have enough yet. Do we go ahead and just declare the war and sort of see what happens? I think the answer is yes. We don't have to push. I want him to exhaust himself against me. That's right, you idiot. Go ahead, attack me, reduce your own organization, and then I'll just swing in and crush. Let's get some encryption and decryption tech. Clay working is a thing. Good. Monthly population again? Yes. Monthly population strikes me as a good thing. All right, he's actually attacking and winning over here. Here's the funny thing. What if I, ooh, wait. What if I backed off and let him win? Cross over? And then I try to cross. That works. Maybe I should pull back and then try to flank him. Have we considered this as an option? Wait a minute. I think maybe we could. True to Kaiser. Let me try something. Fallback line is all of this. 
And I want you guys to go here. Okay, so back on up. Hey, look at him try to cross. You back her on up. Okay, hang on. Cross. Is he an idiot? Hey, I think he's an idiot. Cross. Okay, he's got no supply. <laughs> well, that freaking worked. All right, I'm gonna have you guys contain him. The rest of you go up here. The rest of you go up here. Okay, he's gonna try. To, he's gonna try to take his land back, and I can't say that I blame him. Can we just cross right there, please? The answer is yes. Suckers! All right, we win. <laughs> We're freaking genius. All right, now we have motorized too, which helps. As long as we don't screw this up horribly, I think we're going to be fine. Go, go. Whoops. All right, we've got the crossing. Grab Pueblo City, please. Thank you. And you need an offensive line. No, wait. You need an offensive line. Can you please? No. Fine. Do it manually. You guys attack here. Spec Ops go here. You guys... Wait. Nope. Siege attackers go here. Yeah? Take positions. Crush, crush, crush. I don't even know what I was worried about. Totally flanked that loser. Alright, we go for extensive conscription, but I don't think we're at that point yet. Uh, we can now get things like infrastructure speed, which doesn't strike me as that important. Ooh, I like this. If we go for Wyatt the Demon, we could get some free stability and political power gain. Goddess Diana, even more research time reduction could be good. A lot of nice stuff. Uh, okay. Chief of Army, Division Attack. Don't know if we need that yet. Lord of the Pit, motorized, more speed and soft attack and defense. Not there yet either. Um... Honestly, I'm going to hold on to some political power and see if we can get some better advisors going. Because I think the answer is that we can. Let's go ahead and grab some of this and get an extra flank in. Attack him. There you go. You guys push here. Okay. You guys push against them here. You guys push against them here. Meritocracy is done. Let's go for... I'm going to go for Legion Outlaws. Well, wait. Do I need Wyatt the Demon? Hang on. This could actually change things. Or Legion Outlaws. So no, we do not. Okay. That's fine. I don't think... I mean, I, I like the idea of going for the Spec Ops, but do I want to lose stability? Probably not. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take the safer one. Not invest too heavily there. Let's see where we can go with it. Alright, so that's done. Uh, you need some new orders. Front line here. Offensive line. Go. You have too many front lines. Get rid of that one. Everyone joins up here. Except for right here. Where you two go there. Okay. Wow, that was fast. Jeez. Let's go ahead and grab the twin mothers so we're going to have another option to work with in a little bit. I'd like some more fire geckos, please. Which I haven't used yet, but I'm very excited about the geckos. Chuck geckos at the people. All right. Let's go for the uh, Arizona Ranger. Stability and political power gain. Strikes me as a pretty solid choice. And he is defending over here rather than defending his capital, which means we're going to be able to grab Dog City in practically no time at all. Go, go, go. What's this over here? Colorado Springs, Colorado. Get it. Thank you. Okay. Extra goodies for me. More victory points. Where's my motorized when I need them? Hey, you guys. Push up through this mountain range for some reason. Although, honestly, I guess there's not much point in attacking. Why take extra attrition and lose more men? You know? Um, secret language is done. Reinforce rate? Still 0.9 years ahead of time there, but we could go for the traditional instruction, which gives me extra efficiency cap and growth, which I like for production. For production. 
Uh, we did fight some naval battles, apparently. And it looks like we destroyed their canoes or whatever. So that's good. Yeah, we're wrecking these fools. Ain't a dang thing they gonna do about it. Not a dang thing, man. Can we please get to Dog City a little faster, though? I think if we just take that, we'll win. Uh, maybe we shouldn't be quite so aggressive. Well, there's Dog City. How close are you to winning now? Really close. Boulder, Colorado is where we want to go? Eh. How'd you get around me? Were you sitting up here waiting? Jerk. Take that and go up here. You guys go grab that town. You guys push in here. Yeah, all right, we're good. We're good. It's only a matter of time at this point. As long as we don't take a stupid, uh, get a stupid encirclement against us, we'll be fine. Okay, so new research. Um, we can go for the reinforce rate again, since that might make a difference. And they are done. Take all states. I mean, I could take some puppet governments, but really, why bother? I think we're A-OK -okay without it. New production. We're actually looking good on everything. We even have dogs. I got puppies. Cool. What's this? Ooh, hang on. We finish our scavenging. We get new stuff. Scavenge for more equipment. Scavenge for robots? Okay. Apparently, there are some chances of things happening. I don't know if this was here before. I just missed it. Lost contact or equipment scavengers return. It's only a 75% chance of success. Same here with robots. For 100 days, we lose a lot of things. Scavenge for vehicles? I guess all we did is we just equipped a team and they're ready to go. We could roll out technology. Must have researched any binoculars, portable radios, radars, uh, radio, sorry, or radar to activate the decision. For 50 days, less research time. That's nice. Unlocks motorized scavenging decisions. This doesn't seem like it costs me anything except for political power. Scavenging options. Use this decision and the event it fires to help combat this. From this window, you can disable and re-enable each of the four subcategories. Normal missions, power armor missions, vehicle missions, and ventibird missions. If you accidentally hide the wrong subcategory, just do this again. Huh. Um, is there any reason not to do this, and does this ultimately increase my odds of success? It does. So let's do this first and increase the odds of success even further. Maybe we get vehicles or something. I don't know. All right. Uh, the only borders I have against the Twin Mothers is down here, so we'll use that. We'll go against Navajo Nation down there, I guess. Events or decisions timeout. Fine. Free military factories. Um, what do I want? I would like some more motorized, I think. We could start investing in that. I mean, yeah, right now we have a pretty good amount. Still can't produce any dogs or anything else. So for now, we'll do that. There's the Twin Mother's decision. We could go for Shatal, God of Dogs. Domesticated mongrel technology, lose stability, but gain extra dog soft attack, which I don't really intend on using much. If we do this, Temple of Chital, Dog City only gets an extra workshop, one of each, and an outpost. That doesn't seem that great. Alternatively, gain domesticated mongrels for free, and also spawn three Legion Warding dog units. I'd rather just have the units than honestly, I feel like. Why lose stability for a total of two factories? I don't know if that's really worth it. Maybe it is, and I'm just dumb. Remember that I'm, I'm hardly an expert in any of these things I do. Hey, we got trained mongrels for free. All right. So those are done. Uh, now we just need to conquer the twin mothers, and we can make more progress. Until then, we can now tame Dog City. That could lead to some extra arms factories. Or we go for the initiative, which I still don't really know what that does. Production efficiency, growth, and a general... I think I'm going to continue by taming things like Dog City. We have some unassigned hang dogs. I'll assign you to blue. So what are you good at, exactly? War Dog Division. Let's change your icon. 
We'll do the paw. That way I know what I'm looking at. Dog support. Twice. Which, again, is a thing that apparently we can do. We'll go for some recon onto this. More infantry? Yeah. I don't know if there's anything else I want to invest in here yet. But that's a thing. We have plenty of uh, infantry equipment, so I guess I can also throw on the medical company. All right. Cult of Nos. Um, we need medical comm. We need recon. That's all I can afford there at the moment. Would like some extra motorized. APC battalion? That requires APC equipment and infantry equipment and manpower. Interesting. Hang on, hang on. So, APC equipment right here. What defines that, and how do I get more of it? Center vehicles? APC battalion. I'm going to go with this is probably what that is. And we don't have really much there, so I don't want to add those in, because I'm not manufacturing any. I would, at the very least, like to have a combat width of 10, so I will add in one more motorized. Uh, well, let's hold off on anything else. Would I have a lot of logistics in? Mm. Fair bit of flamers coming in, fair bit of explosives coming in. That's kind of it. Can I start manufacturing dogs? Yes, I can. We probably should have at least a couple of factories dedicated to that. Let's make sure that my arms factories are the priority when repairing. Okay. Uh, do we go ahead and declare war on Twin Mothers and see what we can do here? I guess we might as well go ahead and get started. So yes, let us annex them. That is a wrong button. And then go and see if you can push on anything. I never actually gave you an order. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Twin Mothers right up there. That's what I want. True to Kaiser. Uh, you don't have any planning bonus, so why don't you just sit tight for a little bit. Again, the alternative would be to back out, let him come out here so we can break through the bottleneck. Honestly, that's such a smart tactic. I feel like it's the way to go, dude. Fall back here. Fall back here. We'll take all of you. All of you. Back her on up. Let's see if she comes after me. I'm assuming it's a girl, because it's called the Twin Mothers. Okay. Hang on. Hold tight. Let them come after me. Split their forces. Okay. Go, go. Go, go. Let's see if we can get in this away. Maybe. Okay. Do we break through? Uh, maybe. Hang on. A few of you go that way. And he has no organization, which means we just freaking won. <laughs> oh, it's almost unfun. It's almost unfun, but it's actually amazingly fun. I like outmaneuvering the AI. This is smart. Wait, guys, don't go back to your fallback lines. You had the right idea. Get back up here. Go crush. Go crush the fools. Go get, take wheel breakers. Go grab Tim and Mothers. I think we've killed all their troops. They're stuck over here. Crush them in the mountains. And they lose. And that's it. <laughs> oh, alrighty then. Well, <clears throat> that's all of our mi uh, missions done. Which means now we can move on to the 86th thing. Conqueror of the 86. As soon as we finish taming Dog City. I think we will go for Goddess Diana. Reinforce rate is nice, but mainly the Twin Temples. Research time, minus 8%, and I think we gain 10 civilian factories, which is really good. Caesar the God Slayer sounds awesome, but I don't get as many factories or research time, which I highly value. So I think we're going to go for the Twin Temples, which is interesting because isn't Diana... Is Diana Athena or Artemis? Wait, Diana might be Artemis, Goddess of the Hunt? I think that actually is correct. Well, I was going to say, because Athena, Greek name, not Roman name, is another goddess of war. So if you had goddess of uh, war from Mars and goddess of war from Athena, 
Now I have to look it up. Is it freaking Diana? I don't remember anymore. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed, and if so, you'll consider hitting that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.